Hi hey guys, Keith with Arkenberg Farms. Been quite a rainy day today. It's only noon, got an inch and a half of rain. Some high wind, we didn't get hail here, but they did in other places. But, since now it's tomato time, been working in the greenhouse, getting the tomatoes in. The last video I showed you how I was planting them this year for 2020 in our high tunnel, and how to wind one of the tomahooks. Turns out, after winding, oh, I think I did close to 150 or so. I got tired of it. It's a lot of work. I mean, look at that pile right there. But I found a better way to do this. So let me show you. Now for anyone not aware, these are tomahooks. They come in bundles of 25, they're taped together. What you don't want to do is take all the tape off at once. Over here, I took off the two outside bands, cut the middle one. The reason you don't want to do this because if you take all these off and they go into a bundle, they will just turn into a big knotted ball. Here's what they look like. You wind string around from here to here for your trellising and then you hang them from your trellis bring your line down for your tomatoes and start winding your tomatoes then you just drop a little line off the top each time move the hooks over and you start your lean and lower method now this is a little contraption I came up with to wind them with simply just a piece of one by two stock took a bolt through bottom to top nut and washer that way I can chuck a drill up to it on this side I cut small cuts with a circular saw wide enough to accept the tomahawk then I took a nail drove it in and then bent it over right above the center bolt right here this is what will actually hold the tomahawk in place It'd be probably a little bit better off if I would have had an L hook because it'd be a little bit shorter. It'd be about that long, but this still works great. Let me show you how it works. The quickest way I've found to attach my twine to the hook is you make a loop, give it a twist, another twist, and come back and grab the line that's coming out of the box, pull it up into a slip. It's kind of a slip knot through a knot. That loop you just made is onto the tomahook. Pull it tight. And the tension's on there. Now you just bring it down to where you want to start winding it. And I'll show you how I wind them. Now with the line attached to my tomahook, I load it in the jig. Go into the grooves. And then underneath the nail or the L hook, then slow speed on your drill. I'm still counting this off 26 times. That's why I'm going slow. Pretty close, 26. Now to get it off, you bring one side out and then push off of the hook. There you go. One, two, three on the end wrap and cut it off. Simple as that. And a whole heck of a lot quicker than doing it by hand. Well, hope you all like what you saw today and thought it was useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all, have a good day.